He was a Barnsley-born campaigner and left-wing activist to the end. Harry Leslie Smith spent the last few years of his life fighting for the rights of refugees. But it was his fighting speech about the NHS at the Labour Party conference in 2014 that made people sit up and listen. If I close my eyes, I can smell the poverty that oozes from the dusky tenement streets of my boyhood. Harry died aged 95 in the early hours of the morning while visiting his son in Canada. John spoke to Five News earlier about the loss of his father. It still hasn't sunk in. I'm, I'm sort of doing all of these things and I keep on going, well, he's going to pop in at tea and, 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 and we'll, we'll just talk about what happened today. And then I do realise in the back of my head that he's dead. And, and so there's going to be a long time of grief. But what does get me through it is the work that we were working on so that in that, I feel he's still alive, as long as I keep on hammering at that. Leading the tributes in the House of Commons today was the Labour Party leader, Jeremy Corbyn. He was an irrepressible campaigner for the rights of refugees, for the welfare state and for our National Health Service. He was passionate about the principle of health care for all as a human right. We thank Harry for his life and his work. We filmed with Harry a few years ago, where he spoke of his experiences of the NHS after he came back from Germany after the Second World War. I contacted bronchitis and I went to the NHS and they gave me antibiotics and a thorough examination and I could walk out not owing a penny. Harry Leslie Smith was a man who fought for his principles and his politics and as a result inspired many others to do the same.